Hi, my name is Pam Buecher, and I'm head, uh, president of the board of directors of CONAPAC, which is a nonprofit that works in the rainforest and works closely with Explorama Lodges, and I'm also the general manager of Explorama Lodges. We were very pleased to be able to host workshops for teachers, for local teachers. Uh, over 130 teachers came to the two workshops that were held in our lodge, uh, Explore Napo, which is on the Napo River, and Explorama Lodge, which is on the Amazon River. Uh, we have been very lucky to have uh, Karen Purcell from Cornell Lab of Ornithology here for the last three years to do continuing lessons with the teachers so that they become more proficient in understanding the birds and their role here and are able to pass that information to their, to their students. Um, the binocular project has been a tremendous help in allowing the children to find out more about what does that bird really look like. So if you think about it, uh, most of the birds are high in the trees and the trees are very tall here. So, or they're flying across a beautiful blue sky or against clouds and what you see is a black silhouette. So to be able to see that that bird is not a black silhouette, that bird is blue or that bird is red or that bird has a, has a blue eye or a yellow ring around its eye are something that they would never be able to see had they not had access to the binoculars. So um, you, you, uh, we also have a, a WhatsApp chat group. And so we see the children running along the pathways with their binoculars around their neck and getting to their study area. And all of them are looking up to see what that bird really looks like. You know, it's not just uh, an abstract thing. Everyone is different and, and they truly would not have a way to know that without the binoculars. And so now we have over 80 binoculars that are traveling through the schools. Uh, in our Adopt-a-School program there are 55 communities along the Amazon and Napo rivers. We have a few that are on the Ucayali and we have a few that are farther up uh, the Amazon as well. And those 80 binoculars travel to the schools so the teachers are allowed to check them out um, we have boxes of five, and so they can either check out five or ten, depending on the size of their school. Take them then to their community and use them for three months. And then those binoculars are rotated to other schools. And so uh, the kids have a chance to go out, and when they do their, their study areas, they can take the binoculars with them. And so uh, on, our, on our WhatsApp chat, we see them, like I, like I mentioned before. Uh, running down the running down the trails, and and first thing is they're 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 up there with the binoculars. We also have guests that come through, and it, and the the kids will be out working, and guests will come through, and they'll call them over and and, and show them things. So now we have uh, the children that are that are working as guides in their village, um, and not to just show them what they're doing in their classroom, but to show them what they're doing outside their classrooms. So it's really very exciting. So. How many more binoculars do you think we need to meet the demand? Well, as I mentioned, we have 55 communities. We have about uh, uh, 2,800 students that are in the program. So if we had um, 300 binoculars, then it would be great. We wouldn't have to do so much switching around. We could have uh, you know, 10 or 50 binoculars at every single school. That would be great because um, now they have to do a lot of sharing, which is good, which is better than nothing. Yeah. But it would be great to have permanent, uh, permanent binoculars in, in every community. All right. Anything else you'd like to say to potential and current donors to the program? That you're making a difference. Okay. That we are teaching um, children and adults to see things that they have never been able to see in their, around their own home. And I think that's going to make a difference in what they decide to do with the area that surrounds them, which will eventually affect all of us. Yes. Thank you so much, Pam. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank <laughs> all of you. Yeah.